Good morning, gentlemen, and possibly ladies, and welcome to a morning edition of VHB Engines. All right, so <clears throat> the last couple days, <laughs> the last couple days worth of uploads have been very exciting on my end. Lots of engagement, lots of controversy. All right, as some of you guys are tracking Facebook. I've already made my comments on this. Um, I'll briefly touch on it again. You know, I understand that with these videos, the more exposure I get, <clears throat> the more I'm going to be running into people who are going to contradict everything I'm going to say and who are going to disagree in general. Now, while I have admitted before that I haven't built a bunch of H-22s, it does not mean that I haven't been inside a bunch of H-22s. As a matter of fact, the H-22 is one of the first engines I ever broke down. Now, with that being said, you know, I, I hesitated on this because I didn't realize exactly how much information that we could dive into and talk on with this. And it turns out there is a lot. Like I said the other day, I planned on, you know, two or three videos. It's going to be a lot more than that, guys. All right. So, um, there was at one point in time yesterday where I almost dropped that video, almost took it down. The reason why is because somebody said some shit to me about, you know, what I was doing is putting out wrong information. And I don't like to do that. But I double-checked what he said and double-checked what I already gone over and what I've seen and what i read. And I decided, no, no. This is this is shaky enough where I'm, I'm leaving it the way I said, the way, the way I put it. All right. And um, I'll leave a link. Um. In the, in the channel up top, you'll see a crossover. So hey, just in case you haven't seen yesterday's video, you can go back and see what I'm talking about. And uh, anyway, just to touch on that, what I saw in the comments was that every single H22 block, no matter what year, what it came from, is FRM sleeved. Now, going back and rereading it with that in mind, rereading one of the information I had, it's, it, it's a little bit ambiguous enough for me to believe that that's possible. But from what I've seen and plus what else he said, it made me think that, nah, it's, that's shaky enough for I'm going to leave what I said yesterday, leave it stand. And um, that being that, uh, he also said that H23s are the ones that aren't FRM, when clearly every H23 is FRM block. That the H23, is, they're, all, they're all FRM. And that is something that I know for sure. So with that being said, if he's contradicting the H22s are not all FRM, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm leaving it like that. Um, I'm going through and I'm looking at just post uh, just posted pictures on uh, on Google and shit, and you can see that there's clearly not FRM sleeved out there. And I'm not talking about aftermarket sleeves. I'm talking about a stock block, you know, a stock block that you see that they're honed that are iron and not FRM material inside. Now, I've last couple of days because of this controversy, I've always opened up the next video with addressing what I had said in the last. So I promise that the end of that, and hopefully this video will be the one that puts a wrap on all that bullshit, because there is a piston upgrade out there that could be like the savior of the situation. Um, because I I rate the the block the stock sleeves, I rate them to about 500. The other day I said the the closed deck I would rate to about 600 if you're really feeling ballsy. But either way, in general. I really wouldn't push the fuck out of those sleeves. And in general, again, most of you guys aren't. You know, let's be fucking real here. How many of you guys watching my shit actually have seven, eight hundred horsepower Hondas? You know, so uh, if you were to push past the 500 limit mark, I would say get aftermarket sleeves or whatnot. And at that point, you know, anything that you're going to, you know, any aftermarket sleeve you're going to get, it kind of eliminates the problem of the forged internal debate for FRM material. But. There is a piston out there that I know will hold up to 500 horsepower that I've uh, that I've used myself and that friends of mine have used, and that is uh, the Nip and Racing NPR pistons. All right, and the price range on those pistons vary. You know, it, it ranges from about 170 dollars to 225, and uh, they're cast. So it's a cast piston solution that'll you know that I know for a fact will hold as much power as that block will, easily enough. So if you have an H22 or an H23 or whichever fucking FRM sleeve block that you have and you want a fucking piston upgrade that will guarantee you hold power, that will work with four draws, you know, it's NPR pistons. And um, I haven't checked out the price for the H22 group, but if you are going to go NPR, you have to make sure because they make both press fit and they make fucking, uh, 
and they make the floating ones. You have to be sure that you're getting the right ones. Generally speaking, the press fit pins are a bit cheaper than the floating ones. Um, when you look in the picture, you're going to see the, the C-clips, the rings that hold the pins in place. If you don't see that, that's immediately a flag to tell you that they're press fit. And you don't want to buy press fit fucking uh, pistons and then have your four draws and get, you know, get them to work. Alright, so, um, yeah. So, now, with with this here being the solution, it doesn't really matter about switching up your fucking block. You can keep your fucking uh, FRM sleeve uh, H22 block and just get the NPRs and you have no problems. And, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad now that I didn't try to cram all this information into one video. I mean, I think it would have been over an hour long. <laughs> and probably nobody even watched it. Yeah, so I know this is kind of like a footnote. The main topic here today it wasn't that big a deal because there's not really much to talk about the fucking piston. Other than the fact that I have used these. And I know they make power. I had a friend that pushed them up in an LSV up to about 490 horsepower and it lasted for years. It, I never heard of it blowing up. It's, as far as I know, it was still going... Um, my very first uh, forged internal B16 wasn't even completely forged internals because it was just forged rods and NPR pistons. And that guy made over 390 horsepower or something around that block. Uh, but the thing was, he had like small turbo setup and everything, so it, you know it could have made more power. But just because the overall setup just wasn't there to support that, he didn't. <clears throat> All right. Um, so I guess I'll close out with saying that, yeah, I know that everybody's uh, shouting for the G, for the G23 talk. Everybody's talked about that for the longest time, or everybody's talking about how much power you can make uh, NA or whatnot, or what you can do boost. Um, I don't think that I'm going to talk about boost your NA on this fucking, on these videos, because I have already talked about it a bunch of times, and I did mention it way back when I made the How Much Power stock. I know it was kind of a blip in there, but I did say the F series and H series I would rate the same, which is around 350 horsepower. So there's no more detail to talk about that. That's you just technically you just got the answer again. So um, here in the near future, I will talk about the G23, and I will talk about just the H22 in general. The what you can do to make uh, more power stock uh, in a there. I'm seeing all kinds of different horsepower numbers across the spectrum here when you're looking around the internet and shit. So I want to take a little bit more time to look at those case by case and see how plausible those are and see, you know, you know, I like, um, like I mentioned, uh, back in the compression, like my compression video or whatnot that, uh, um, you can, you can bump compression up a decent amount and easily make another 20, 30 horsepower off that in your tuning. So I will be looking at different factory pistons you can use for each 22 and how much power you can potentially make out of, a, of an OEM Frankenstein uh, versus how much you can make uh, going with higher compression pistons. I think this is the H22 like the K series is one of those few blocks or one of those few engines that you can justify spending the money on on high compression wide scope pistons or whatnot. You know if you can get like a set of 14-1 pistons or some shit it might actually be justified because the power if it's true the um you can make uh, close to upwards around around the 300 horsepower mark, you know, like 270 ish is what I've seen. Um, but I think that the G will most likely be the better way to go, the better route to take for big power. We shall see. Uh, keep watching, guys. Or if you're not liking the videos, leave your thumbs up and fuck off the channel. You know, I don't care either way. Honestly, if you leave your dislike and fuck off, it's better for me. I don't have to worry about dealing with answering your asses. All right, guys, uh, for you, those of you who do care, for those of you who do enjoy the videos and have stuck around or you decide to stick around based on this, uh, thank you for that. You can leave a thumbs up if you do want to. I appreciate that. It helps the channel out. And peace, guys. I'll probably see you again tomorrow.